Hey, we're doing a FEMA shelter for tornadoes, storms, whatever. We're right on a lake here. They have had tornadoes come through here, so we're going to build a tornado shelter for them using the Fox blocks. And what we're doing, very simply, is a 90 degree corner, a straight block, another 90 degree corner. That's the size of the building. It's just going to be a square building. Um, we're cutting the inside of the block right along our 8 inch cut line, which is marked right on our block. Cutting that off, cutting our ties off, and that's going to allow for the floor concrete. So we're placing this down on the gravel that we put within this 2x8 framework we put in. Found a few pegs in the ground. We're doing this as simple as possible, just a real quick tornado shelter. So you just watch. We're going to pour concrete in the floor, walls, and roof all at the same time. Okay, we're, uh, we did the next two rows of block. We did all of the rebar in the ground, 12 inch grid. And two and a half feet, we went up into the wall with, uh, we just bent that 90 degree. We clipped everything with HV clips and we used lots of them. We're using one box of HV clips for this whole thing. So it'll be uh, held together really well. Now we're gonna put the door in. We're using four inch block for the walls. We're putting a five inch slab on the bottom and we're putting a five inch slab on the top. We're pouring the whole thing all at once. We've got Willie here on the pump. We've got John's on the camera right now. And come take a look inside here. We got rebar at a 12 inch grid on the floor. We made it a little bit down on the bottom, but you can see how we cut the foam here. We actually cut up eight inches and wrapped it down. So the outside has the block. We just cut the block in half basically on the inside face and cut that off. So we're not really too high, but these joists, if you look up top here, these are temporary. You just put these one foot on center with some pressure treated plywood above it. That pressure treated plywood's gonna stay there. We'll just hammer some nails through it into the wet concrete. And then when we rip this out later, the plywood will stay there and we can attach to it later on. That'll be the ceiling. So now let's go take a look at the top. If you follow me up top here, we've got our 12 inch grid rebar. We just put some screws through, rested some rebar on there and rested everything on top of that so that we have a two inch cover on all, all of the rebar. Um, that's about it. We did this framework so that we'll have a little bit of a concrete lip. I'll show you that later on. And we're ready to place concrete. You ready, John? Okay. Try not to drop that leaf. Okay, I got. <laughs> I 
Okay, we finished this tornado shelter. We got four inch concrete walls, five inch thick concrete floor, five inch thick roof. It worked out to be nine foot square on the outside. It's seven foot six square on the inside. We've got a vent, fresh air intake at the bottom here and on the back side, opposite corner, we have a fresh air intake up at the top. And we have this solid stala door. It worked really, really good putting it in, inserting our block into it, placing concrete. It's solid with concrete all the way around it. You couldn't move that door, you could drive into the truck. And if you come look inside, we'll actually first take a look at this lip we made. We actually, with our boards, we, we molded it in a way that it, water will drip off of it, it won't go back in. And now we can do siding right up to that top edge and we got a concrete lip along there. That's just the way that we did our boards. And if we go inside and take a look, you'll see that we put 5 8 plywood up on the ceiling. We use pressure treated plywood for that. And there's lots of headroom in there, 6 foot 8 of headroom. And this door is actually a 6 foot steel door. Solid 6 foot steel by 2 foot 6. Don't really need much more than that, that's plenty. And it's got bed bolts at the hinge level. So this thing is solid, made for this type of construction. So that's it, another tornado shelter. Hi, I'm John with Evolving Homes. We're an insulated concrete form construction company. We're here in southeast Manitoba constructing a storm shelter in this resort of St. Mallow, which is a uh, resort uh, farming community. Uh, we're here with Eileen, who has uh, contracted us to build her a storm shelter, and she's going to tell us why. Thanks, John. Um, the reason why I've uh, asked John to build the uh, storm shelter is back in 1984, um, or the cottages were here and everything else um, ended up being in a tornado out here uh, the only place we had to go was in the house trailer here behind us which is not a very safe place and after uh, the cottage was constructed uh, never did put a basement in uh, regretted that and this is a simple solution to having a safe place to go and hopefully uh, we'll never need it that's true let's have a look Can you hear me in here? <laughs>